Hello and welcome to Onward in Love and Caregiving. I'm Greg Johnson. I'm the president and CEO of GJP International. And here in New York, I have the great privilege of serving as the chief advisor to the CEO of Emblem Health for family caregiving. Yesterday, here in America, was the National Day of Prayer. And I want to continue that today as I've selected several of my favorite caregiving prayers. Prayer is not something for just one day. And I mentioned that this was something that was done here in America yesterday, because this is a program that we're blessed to share internationally. And so let us remember, in whatever our tradition may be, in whatever our manner may be, whether it's prayer that is in a formal situation, formal prayer that is very informal, prayer that is something from a prayer book, something from the heart, or perhaps just one single word, whatever your tradition may be. I hope and pray that throughout each and every day, prayer is a part of your day. I know it's a very important part of mine. And quite frankly, I bookend each and every day with prayer. I wake with prayers of thanksgiving. I wake with prayers of dedication. Prayers asking not to let ego get in the way. And in the evening, I give prayers of thanks for the day, for the experiences, for the things well done and things that could have been done better. And then I rest until the morning. And then I pray again. I suggest you consider that as well. I have found it enormously beneficial in my caregiving journeys. And I find it that still. Now this morning, I'm going to begin with a prayer for Ukraine once again. It is extremely important that in prayer we all pray for the peace that is so desperately needed. So please sit back comfortably, preferably your feet on the floor, and perhaps your hands, palms up, as we receive the energy of the universe. God of peace and justice, we pray for the people of Ukraine today. We pray for peace and the laying down of weapons. We pray for all those who fear for tomorrow, that your spirit of comfort would draw near to them. We pray for those with power over war or peace, for wisdom discernment, and compassion to guide all of their decisions. Above all, we pray for all your precious children at risk and in fear, that you would hold and protect them. We pray in all the holy names of God. Amen and amen. Before I share with you the group of prayers that I have loved, I want to share something that was sent to me by one of you. It's simply titled Caregiver, and it was written by Lee McCurley. Now, that was not the person who sent it to me. It was sent to me by someone from Switzerland. Caregiver. I am the caregiver, the watcher, the guide. I walk down the hall with you by my side. A smile, a laugh, a hug, or an embrace. I watch the worry fall away from your face. I am the caregiver, the watcher, the guide. I walk down the hall with you by my side. 
I am your compass, your shining north star. I try to remind you of just who you are. I am the caregiver, the watcher, the guide. I walk down the hall with you by my side. Pictures and letters, music of old, keep your mind warm and away from the cold. I am the caregiver, the watcher, the guide. I walk down the hall with you by my side. The routine of night shows no wear and tear. The light of morning soon will be there. I love that. I hope that you do as much as I. It's a beautiful, beautiful writing. Now, one of the prayers, it's entitled Gratitude, comes from Peace Be Still, a booklet written by Reverend Marion Gambardella and myself, Reverend Greg Johnson. Creator of each and every day, we greet this day with joyous expectation, knowing we are not alone. Thank you for this night of peace and quiet and for continuing life today. Thank you for each and every person we will meet this day. Each is a brother and sister known or unknown to us, but all precious in your sight. Yesterday is gone, tomorrow is not come. Keep us in this day and only in this day. You have promised to give us strength to meet each and every challenge. We now claim that strength and go forward in joy and courage. We are your children, you are our father, our mother, and we trust in your loving protection, strength, now and forever. And it is so. Amen. And then there was a prayer that was sent to me by another view, a listener, viewer. It's entitled simply, The Caregiver's Prayer. Compassionate and healing God, help us to see your face in the faces of our sisters and brothers who are sick or injured. Guide us to reach out to them with hearts of compassion and hands which serve their needs. When they are anxious, help us to know how to reassure them. When they feel alone, help us to notice and be present. When they feel confused, help us to listen and assist in finding answers to their concerns. When they need comfort, Help us to communicate care and understanding. When they are weak or discouraged, help us find ways to refresh their spirits. When doubt or darkness touches them, give your light to guide them and lift them up. Help us as caregivers to always turn to you as the source of our strength and compassion as we seek to serve the needs of our brothers and sisters who are vulnerable. Amen. And from Father Richard Rohr, the Center for Action and Contemplation, a prayer for our community, and I make it our community. Loving God, as we understand you, you fill all things with fullness and hope that we can never comprehend. Thank you for leading us into a time where more of reality is being unveiled for us all to see. We pray that you will take away our natural temptation for cynicism, denial, fear, and despair. Help us have the courage to awaken to greater truth, greater humility, and greater care for one another. May we place our hope 
in what matters and what lasts, trusting in your eternal presence and love. Listen to our heart's longings for the healing of our suffering world. And we add our own petitions. Knowing, good God, you are hearing us better than we are speaking. We offer these prayers in all the holy names of God. Amen. And a prayer that I have used before on these programs, truly my most favorite prayer. And we conclude our broadcast with this. O oh Lord, support us all the day long until the shadows lengthen and the evening comes and the busy world is hushed and the fever of life is over and our work is done. Then in thy mercy grant us a safe lodging and a holy rest, and peace at the last. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for joining me. And just a reminder, next week, May 12, I will not be doing the broadcast. Next week I am devoting completely to the writing of a talk which I have been very honored and invited to give to the International Federation on Aging at their global conference in June in Bangkok. Now, doctors aren't going to let me travel, so I'm going to be doing it by uh, means of um, Zoom, but I will have the great privilege of sharing our work begun with Emblem Health. It was their idea. They wanted to keep caregivers caregivers. And for the last 24 years, I've had the privilege of leading that initiative and taking it to other parts of the world. And so I'm going to be sharing with these wonderful folks. But I need a period of concentrated time where I can write and rewrite and then work with others who will be helping me. So we will return with this broadcast two weeks from today, May 19th. In the meantime, let us remember each and every day, onward in love and caregiving. Namaste. God bless, and thank you for being with me and sharing in our day. God bless.